our nation. What we found out today, uh, just this morning, we're able to confirm that Fort Polk uh, will not endure the major cuts that we had that we have been protecting against of 6,500. Instead, our reduction in Fort Polk will be no more than 388 soldiers. Uh, truly, truly a blessing uh, to our whole area, and really the result of a tremendous amount of work uh, that's gone on from our congressional delegation, who I'll say by name, uh, Congressman Fleming, Congressman Abraham, Congressman Bustani, Congressman Graves, Congressman Scalise, uh, Congressman uh, Richmond, um, Senator Cassidy and Senator Vitter, they have led the charge in Congress out of all the, out, out of all the states to really prevent these kind of reductions from occurring and in supporting Fort Polk, our governor, our state legislators, um, our local elected officials, our chambers of commerce, and our school board, who I was with this morning, and the work they've done in education. All of these things had to come together just right uh, to make this day possible and to prevent these major cuts at Fort Polk. There are many installations uh, this morning who are not able to celebrate, uh, who have had major reductions at their bases, uh, far greater than this, and we certainly wish them the best. Uh, I think that this is a testament today to the great military value that, that the Army finds in Fort Polk, Louisiana, to the tremendous support that it receives from the citizens that have been showcased through letter writing campaigns, through public listing sessions, uh, through investments, concrete investments made by the school districts, by the state in our roads and infrastructure, uh, investments in water and sewer, uh, investments in places like England Air Park and, and Chenault and the Lake Charles Port. Um, all of these things came together and came to play uh, in the way the Army conducted this evaluation. Um, so as Chairman of Fort Polk Progress, I say thank you. Uh, we're here to celebrate this. We'll continue to work. Uh, we have work ahead of us to prevent any further reductions uh, to occur in the Army as a whole uh, by preventing this budget sequester uh, that has driven these reductions. This is not a reflection of a reduced mission on our Army, but rather an arbitrary budget figure. We've got to fix that, and I know that our delegation's got to lead the way in Congress to do just that. Um, 